Hey knitters, it's Wednesday. I'm going to start this video by talking about the theme, and I've tried unsuccessfully about two or three times to do this, and I don't know what it is, I just can't get my words out. Okay. So, I really like what Stephanie had to say. Um, I definitely agree with all of that stuff. And then, I think another level for me about how the internet slash social networking has changed my life would definitely have to be the community of it all. And that goes into what Stephanie was talking about, about feeling connected, but I really just think that it's so awesome that all these strangers all over the world can come together and feel connected just by watching John and Hank, or The Five Awesome Girls, or Wheezy Waiter, or whoever it is, and they can, like, unite in a common purpose and make stuff happen, like the Project for Awesome, and, and changing how Google thinks to make it think that Hank Green is awesome, and all of these random awesome stuff, like, I just... There's so much music out there that I wouldn't have ever listened to if it weren't for the internet. There's so many experiences I never would have had. Um, this is totally random, but I feel like I have to tell this story. I listened to MuggleCast way back in the day. I since have stopped listening, not because I didn't like it or anything, just I lost touch with it. But um, it's the podcast that MuggleNet puts on. Anyways, and I remember listening to it when they were talking about the Harry Potter theme park and when they just announced that they were starting it so it was just an idea back then and I remember listening and thinking I will never get to go there I am too poor and too far away to ever get to go there and then I'm actually there like a month after it opens and I'm pretty sure that's because of the internet and I know that's kind of random but if it weren't for the internet and my experiences with YouTube and Twitter and Tumblr and places like that I probably would have never found out that Infinitus was a real thing. I never would have got to, like, share a hotel room with Jenny, who is awesome. And I surely probably never would have gone to the Harry Potter park, at least not that close to its opening. I, I'm, I think it would have taken me a while to get there. I think I would have felt like it was an impossible thing, like, it was beyond me, but it's really not. And I, the, that's what makes the internet magical, is that it kind of made me go to Infinitus, and it made me go to the Harry Potter park, and just, it... It makes you be more creative, and it makes you feel connected, and it makes you want to do stuff, and I really like that. So, there you go. I hope that didn't make me sound like a crazy person. <laughs> this week, I've actually done a lot of knitting kind of things. They're all kind of small projects, but or at least finishings of projects, but I completed them, so I'm going to show them to you. The first is the most epic. It's my Lion Luna headdress hat thingy, and I don't know if I can get the whole thing in frame, so. Whoosh. Oh my god. Okay. He has teeth, and he has eyeballs, and he has little fringiness on the... It's probably not going to close because I have my hair up. Maybe, maybe. But, um, ow. Yeah, I'm not going to close it. But it looks pretty awesome! Yay! The thing I'm going to show you is also a hat, but this is kind of a failed project. I was going to make this for my friend for Christmas, but it turned out too small. It's a little penguin hat. My friend is an adult, and this is more for a child. It fits on my head, but it doesn't really cover my ears. So I'm not really sure what to do with this, if it's just going to sit in my closet, or if I could donate it to some charity or something, but I just, I don't think the penguin really turned out that great, so I don't want to sell it on my Etsy shop, because I think it looks kind of, it's not horrible, but it's just not as great as Etsy work should be. Next two items are Doctor Who related. First being my phone cozy. Um, my phone doesn't have like a shell thing on it so I don't like it rolling around in my purse and I watched like four episodes of Tom Baker classic Doctor Who fourth doctor and he wears this awesome scarf and so this is inspired by that scarf it's obviously I didn't follow a pattern or the colors aren't exactly right but I think it's pretty awesome the last thing I'm a little self-conscious because I'm not sure if it's cool or if it's lame and I need your guys' help to figure that out okay so I got this idea and I made it, and I'm not sure if it just looks stupid on me, or if maybe it looks cool on me and I just don't know it. I don't know. Okay, so, it's a cowl, and I've never made a cowl before. Or maybe it's a neck warmer, I'm not really sure what these, I, I've never had experience. I've never worn a cowl, so I don't know. Alright, here we go, wait for it, wait for it. I'm in YouTube magic. Ta-da! So the idea of this is that cowls are cool, get it? Ha ha ha, there's the bow tie. Stephanie has no idea what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. So, is this technically not a cowl because it's not like a tube? Does it look stupid? I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool and then at the same time I think it looks kind of stupid so I'm not sure. It's pink yarn and it's really soft and I, 
and then I it's like pinned it's like a little snap Ugh. right here and then the bow tie is like permanently sewn on there so I don't know what do you guys think I, I got this idea to put it on my Etsy shop but I'm not sure if it's Etsy worthy so I really really want your opinion as I just feel like I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys think so please let me know, and viewers too, anybody, suggestions, what, I mean not suggestions, but like, what do you think about this? Would you buy this? Okay. This video has gone on long enough, I feel really crazy and rambly in this video, I'm sorry, I had to condense a lot of ideas into a very small YouTube video, so I hope that everyone had an awesome New Year's, and I hope that 2011 brings as much awesome as possible to this channel, and um, I love you all, I will see Michael tomorrow. Bye!